this is Andrea York with Catch the Fire Worship Flags. Oh gosh, it's really windy right, in, right about now, so I hope that that's not going to be a problem with all the wind noise on the microphone. I'm going to continue and hopefully someone will join me. If not, you're going to catch this later and that's quite okay too. Um, I'm a lot earlier than I am normally for the weekly Your Place for Worship Encouragement. Hey Rosie. Uh, and to find out what you need to know from Catch the Fire Worship Flags. So I'm early today because uh, I am going to be serving and attending a funeral for a 15 year old boy. It's been quite a tragic week actually. And, um, and that actually brings me to the worship encouragement for this week. I've said before, I'll say it again, that even a dim light shines bright in the darkness. It's not about, it's not about what, how spiritual you are, how holy you are. It is actually about how holy he is and how he actually is changing us. Hey, Rosalina. So the story about th this, this child, uh, it is really, really tragic. Uh, two weeks ago, we, we live close to a train. If you've listened to some of our, our podcasts or casts before, you have heard the train. Let's see if I can cut this so it's not quite so bad for you. Um, yeah, you can hear a train coming now, so I might have to stop. But the, So we live really, really close to a train, and two weeks ago, we heard sirens going, and just whenever I hear a siren going, I just offer up a prayer, saying wherever that's going, that, that, would, that it would not end in tragedy. And this one did. Uh, the children were, were partying at the beach, where we live close to the beach, and they were playing chicken, and a, a child lost. <laughs> lost against the train and so that funeral is today it really rocked the community I live in a city but also communities are very small and um, I'm actually really quite teary right now but so immediately we knew the family uh, we knew the child uh, wasn't very close but my son had actually gone to some activities with that child and I knew the mom definitely from different different social events and stuff and so I immediately contacted her via messenger and just offered condolences and then I contacted her best friend and I said hey look this is happening uh, we are I want to serve in whatever way we can as as we, as Christians like to do and what happened was just I thought you know what I'm gonna be able to serve because I'm not so close to the situation I'm gonna be able to serve and so whatever way they can so I've actually been able to to do that which has been wonderful but what Carrie had said to me was that uh, she thanked me and says that's just what you do now if you know me actually that's not what I do uh, I'm not I'm not really super given to, to helps or anything like that but it's encouragement because in a time like this, and this is why I say that even a dim light shines bright in the darkness, even in a time like this, and all of the bad press that Christians get and the judgmental and whatever else the world wants to put on us in a tragedy, they call upon the Christians because we are known for our love. We are known for that. So it wasn't my reputation of being a good person that she said, that's just what you're like. That's because she knows it's what Christians are like and that what generally that's what we're like. And so um, for your worship encouragement today, I want to just read again Colossians 3, 14 to 17 from the Passion Translation. It says, for love is supreme and must flow through each one of these virtues. Love becomes the mark of true maturity. Let your heart always be guided by the peace of the anointed one who called you to peace as part of his one body and always be thankful. Let the word of Christ live in you richly, flooding you with all wisdom. Apply the scriptures as you teach and instruct one another with the Psalms and festive praises and with prophetic songs as you spontaneously by the spirit sing to God with all your hearts. And so that's our, that's our prayer is that we will actually put on love that no matter what, uh, that actually is changing us. That's the beauty of Christ, Christ in you. He changes us so that others see love. So that is, um, I'm, I'm going to be going off and being able to serve and wherever the Lord has me uh, able to speak. Um, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to love and that's what I'm, we're going to be known for. And so that's what we're known for love uh, 
switching gears a little bit, remember that Flag Friday is your opportunity to win some flags. You have to post a picture of you with your flags or answer the question why you love Catch the Fire Worship flags. Look for the post. There's gonna be instructions on actually how to answer, uh, answer it and what to do. So look for that post. There'll be a free uh, worship flag that will be sent out to one lucky winner. It's the Ruby, which is the July birthstone. And, and then again, this month, or this week, last week I had some Names of God CDs. I've already gotten, they're sold out. I have no more left. Uh, so I'm really glad for who got them. Thank you for loving the Names of God collection. And, and this week, again, top seller, Line of Judah. There's something really on that. So a few of you who have it, I'm hoping that you're gonna be posting pictures and you're telling us why, you, uh, why, it's, why you're drawn to that. And uh, second, is El Gabor. So both of those two, the Lion of Judah and the El Gabor, our mighty God, these are very powerful. So I'm, so that's telling me that you need a savior. You need someone who's mighty. So you're fighting your battles. And I, and as I get these kind of orders and I see the purchases coming in, I'm like, wow, Lord, they need, they need the power and the might of the Lord. And so that's how I'm praying for you. Uh, and if, and if you need something else, feel free to let us know in the Flyer Catchers weekly prayer thread thread and third rounding out the week of best sellers is beautiful offering and again I love that because what that is is, is an outpouring of your heart to him that you really have he's powerful and mighty and if that's not where you need, you are just like right before the Lord face down and one final thing is the fire catchers classroom this week is Remember, it was moved from last week to this week, going deeper in worship through the names of God. We're going to get to know him and look at those a little bit more deeply. Uh, and, I, and I really actually want to have a lot of encouragement time where we're going to be sharing some testimonies. So that is what's happening this week. It's very quick. Uh, thank you for watching. And we'll see you next week and see you in the fire catchers group if you're not part of it we'll send we'll set up the link so that you can join our community there it's a really great interactive and supportive community where we love each other and we set each other on fire keep fanning that flame peace out